still got our bags to unpack under the bus, so this two of us are crazy. But I did, and the kids behind me will tell you this, I'm the least technology person in this entire building. But I will read you one uh, text that I got last night. I'm so happy for you and the team. You raised the ceiling to the roof tonight. Congrats. I didn't want to bring you bad luck tonight. They had asked me for three days if he going to come, and I said, I don't think he'll come because he's like me, he's the most superstitious. Last year he came to Houston, we didn't get it. But he said, didn't want to bring you bad luck tonight, but I'm so happy for you. Love you, my man, Michael Jordan. So, We're going to have another shirt that I think will be pretty good too. It'll say Ceiling Roof Champions. So I think you'll be, I think you'll be a lot of those going around the state of North Carolina. It's a thrill for me. I will say one thing the uh, police, the patrol that, that helped him carried us over here and had the escort. They were telling me that last night there were 55,000 people on Franklin Street. And everybody was great. The, the security and everything, those people are always worried. But they said it was a fantastic feeling that you guys handled yourself so well. You celebrated, you had a good time, and you did it the right way. That's the North Carolina way. We thank you for that. No question about it. And these kids set that goal. It's very, very difficult. There's 351 teams. But they set that goal. And last night uh, was one of the greatest things I've ever had, except for one moment. When my little point guard goes in and posts the deck up guy up and shoots a little jump hook. I said, I've never seen you just laugh during the course of a tight game. But I said, that's going to cost me a lot of things there. But let me tell you, I was very fortunate to be involved in some of those banners up there. In 1982, I was assistant coach, and we rode in on Franklin Street. So today, I told the bus driver, I told Curse and Clint, everybody, let's go through Franklin Street. Because we did that in 05, 09, and there were several people up there. Last night about midnight, Sam Perkins came up to see me. And he said, these guys are going to be mad. He said, are you going to let them get out and get on top of the bus? Because in 82, all the players went through the escape hatches and sat on top of the bus. And Sam told me something last night that made a decision. He said, I've never told anybody this is a coach. I almost fell off the bus. <laughs> so I said, Sam, we're going to Franklin Street, but I'm not going to let him get out on top of the bus. But that was a great time. 2005, I said one year ago, today was a very different thing. 12 years ago today, 12 years ago today was somebody's birthday. Big fella. And Big Fella kicked everybody's rear end and we put the first banner up there in 2005. But I want to tell you something that every journey is different. This one has been so satisfying. I did like the jumping around and dancing a little better than I do all the water throwing. That can close the wet for a couple hours, but it was fun. Nobody understands this, but the most fun as a coach is to see the looks on your guys' faces when they've accomplished something that's very difficult. And that's what our guys did, and last night was truly, truly a joy for me. The three seniors that spoke have been through a lot. We've had good teams, we've had really good teams. 
Now we've got the best team. Last year we were 33 and 7 and a little bit short. This year, if I'm right, we're 33 and 7 and we're right where we like to be. So. I wanted three seniors to say something, three scholarship seniors that have been through the whole thing. And we didn't say this, Jones didn't say this, but you're probably all right. The two juniors that spoke, now they'll have their jerseys in the rafters, and that's all for the This was a true team. Some games, two guys would be bad, and everybody would cover up for them. The next game, those two guys would cover up for someone else. And we played some ugly games as far as shooting the ball in the basket, but everybody took care of everybody else. And our defense that have pushed all year long really did get better at the end. But the one thing that I'll always remember more than anything, this team had a challenge all year long, and they really did it themselves. I asked them last year to use it as fuel, as motivation to work hard in the off season, and they did that. But then they got together as a team, and they allowed us to coach them, try to point them in the right direction. And this team did something that is just unbelievably difficult. There was a lot of pressure because they openly said something about redemption, and that gave other people added a little more pressure. But you know what the greatest two feelings in the world? One, as I say it, well, three. One is seeing the look. Two is cutting down the nets. And three, and I'm a little weird, but just think of all those other people around here that are so ticked off right now.